Hi guys, you're Minecraft here. Welcome to another Minecraft mod tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to add a tile entity to the game. So we're going to first of all create a new package and we're going to call it dot tile entity. Entity tile entity. We're going to create a new tile entity and this is going to be for a block breaker. So it's going to be tile entity block breaker. Now what this must do, this must extend tile entity um, like so and basically what tile entities do, they store information about a block so let's first create the information that we're going to store now what I'm going to have is I'm going to have it so that every five seconds a block breaker will break the block that is facing so to do that we have to add a cooldown so i'm going to make a private int a cooldown um going to make a constructor we're not going to use a constructor yet but we will do um basically um tile entities have two main methods and it's read from mbt and write to mbt so let's sort these out so let's just get mbt here now the read one basically sets our values from this mbt data that's here so what we do is we do uh, this dot cooldown is equal to mbt dot get integer then we have the name so we've got to use the same name for both methods so I'm just going to use cooldown so it's saying that this MBT will have it like an object in it with the name cooldown spelt like this and we're going to get whatever that is now what we're going to do here is we're going to set that cooldown so MBT dot set int we're going to set the cooldown key to the value of cooldown like so now we're going to make it so that our uh, talent C runs something every tick so um, you just want to do i tick a ball and you want the net.minecraft.util one and then just add the update method so in the constructor I'm gonna just say cooldown to be zero um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this dot cooldown plus plus so just gonna increase the cooldown and then I'm also gonna make it so that it's mod equal 100 that's basically means it'll count up to 100 and reset back to zero that's basically what that does there and i'll also do um utils get logger as well info cooldown and then this dot cooldown so what we have to do is we actually have to register this um talent in a common proxy so let's just make a public a public void register tile entities open it up and just game registry the register tile entity and we just did a class that's the tile entity so tile entity and block breaker dot class now the id is a string i normally do reference dot mod id and then colon and then block underscore breaker so that's just saying that's going to be boe colon block breaker so we need to now call this in the pre init so 
just after these proxy dot register tile entities like so now we need to go over to our block our block breaker we're gonna just make another method that says uh, create tile entity and we're just going to return the new tile entity so that's a new tile entity block breaker like so now we also need to make it so that it implements that i um tile entity provider just so it knows and that wants us to add another method and it's just create new tile entity this is just going to do exactly the same so create tile entity block breaker and like so now we should be able to run the game and whenever we place a block breaker we'll see the uh, chat fill up with information about the cooldown okay so the game is loaded up so if you go inside of our test world and we place on a block breaker we should see the tile entity work so let's go grab ourselves a block breaker and if you look cooldown is going up and resets if you just go escape you'll be able to see this so it seems to be going up by quite a bit it is still going up by one um And it should be able to go. It last said 70. Okay. Um, let's go back into the world. And we should also see it say it again. Now it might not know it didn't. Now that's because what we need to do. Is we need to actually add some methods to this. To make it save. So what you can do is you can just add these methods from the description. Which would just make sure it saves it. So Control Shift O to import all of these. Now this will basically save your tile entity. The reason why it doesn't work is because you've got to um, make the packet um, do what when you receive it. Read from MBT when you get an update. It handles the update. Um, it actually took me about a month to find that these five methods would save a tile entity because it, I don't know, my tile entity wouldn't save. Okay, so the game is loaded up. So if you go inside of the test world, we should now only see the message appear for the correct side. So as you can see, it's only going up by one. We're on 82. We close. We open. And you should see it start on f it saved it at 57. No, this that's when it saved, it saved at 57. So it is doing it right, it saved it, and now it's just continuing. So that is working. So, what this will do, it will destroy this block right here. When we get round to add the functionality of it, so um, I might actually just add that now. So to add this, um, there we go that is a working block breaker now in the next tile entity tutorial i'm going to work on getting an inventory made so that what we can do is actually make so the item that's dropped goes into the actual block breaker and we can like say get a chest or something um where's a the chest there we go Like, say get a chest going into it. If you know what I mean. So from that, 
get a chest. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I am out.